It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we have a beer from Skagen Brew House and it's a bottle of their Pasketrold. It's a Paskenbrug beer at 6% ABV. Uh, I'm awfully sorry to the lovely Danish people out there that I butchered your language. Uh, here's the bottle cap. Pint bottle. Let's get the beer out into a glass, see what we get. Massive thank you to Morton for sending me the beer. Thank you, Morton. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening, beer in the glass then. A nice looking beer. Just realised I've got a Skag and Brewhouse glass over there that Morton kindly sent to me. I'll show the glass, I've just completely forgotten about it. There you go. So many thanks to Morton, really good guy, always sends us beer to the channel uh, from either Denmark or Norway. Uh, he has a lot of holidays around. Uh, he sent me a lot of the, the Amaga Brewhouse stuff. Uh, we've got that coming shortly to the channel. Um, that, was, that was kind of a few months ago. And now we've had some Skagen, some Amaga, and some pork scratchings, which are really good. So we've got a two finger white head, good levels of carbonation. Clear looking beer, amber in colour, let's get the aroma. That smells good, it's really good. A little bit of spice, a little bit of pepperiness. Nettly type hops. Stinging nettles. Touch of maybe some sherbet lemon. Let's dive in. Cheers everybody. Quite nice. It's pleasant. It's I'd say more of a traditional style IPA. A little bit of sweetness coming from the malts to begin with. And then lots of that what I mentioned earlier that stinging nettle hop coming through. Small amounts of bitterness on the back end. As I mentioned, it's more of a traditional IPA, I would say. Or an ale, maybe a, a stronger. It, it's all in Danish, so. And I'm not one to check and tap before I do a beer review. I'd rather just get stuck into it. Um, you guys can kind of comment on whether this is Skagen's version of a, of a, a, a Danish IPA, Golden Ale. Something like that, but if I was to choose, if I was to make my own decision on what it was, what style it was, I would say more of, I would say a traditional kind of like Danish slash maybe German style IPA if they. The German IPA even exists in the style thinking about that. Yes, of course you get German craft brewers producing American style IPAs, but an actual kind of German strong ale at 6% because the Germans brew a lot of lagers. A little bit of sediment now, floating around in this glass, good levels of carbonation. I like the balance between sweetness and bitterness. It's a solid brew. It's a solid brew. It's if you're right into your craft beer, this will not knock your socks off. It it it, it won't knock your socks off. It, it it'll you know it, it's it's a bit tame. But if you just want to lay back in your hammock on a sunny day in Denmark and enjoy a beer without thinking about it too much, then this would be okay for you. I'm gonna rate it. I like that. I do. Skag and brew house. Sorry, I didn't get that. You weren't meant to, Alexa. Um, yeah, Skag and brew house. 
past past get trolled enough for I'd say a, a 6 out of 10 6 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer please put your comments in the comments box subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews give us a big fat thumbs up boom cheers